Uh, I mainly use it as a study room, really. Um, like obviously, like I'll grab books from there when I when I need to and whatnot. But um, yeah, ma mainly third floor, little uh, the little pods up there and whatnot, where you can just like actually get away from people and people can't be loud. It, it's good, <laughs> especially the ones with the view. <laughs> oh, mainly just sitting there, having a quiet place to study and to print my stuff off more than anything. Um, mostly, I use it for when I have like two hour break between classes so instead of driving home and wasting petrol I'll study and just get things done so. Uh, I suppose mostly is a study space uh, I find the downstairs basement's a nice quiet area to sort of uh, go and hang out uh, I use its internet facilities a lot uh, and for the history part of my degree the the books upstairs are always helpful as well online library resources, uh, like I recheck out books and stuff like that for, um, uh, from the library if I, if I do ha have to hire out a book. It's a lot more convenient than going and rechecking it, rechecking them and stuff. Um, other than that, honestly, not too much. Uh, so I use journal articles. So um, usually I, I use at least two, three journal articles when I do my assignment. So it's very useful and yeah, easy to access. Um, mainly just for research more than anything, just to go through their databases and find the find journal articles that just help with assignments and all that. Yeah, same, just for references mostly, I find, because Google Scholar and that aren't really the same. Too broad and you get weird, yeah, you get weird results back, but when you use the online resources that the library offers, they're usually a lot more related to what you actually want. Uh, probably not as often as I should, um, but yeah, when assignment time comes around, uh, I use um, yeah the the, the journal uh, section quite a lot. I look for online journals. Um, I find them sort of more helpful than the, the most of the books um, for what I study a lot of the time. Well, definitely talk to the librarians. They're really helpful. Like especially my first semester and stuff like that. I had no idea. Uh, just like finding books, you know, like the quattro books and everything like that were really confusing to me. I'm like, oh, there's two different, two sets of numbers. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they're, they're, they're really helpful, all of them. Um, uh, and obviously in the first we first weeks and stuff like that, you got like, um, like just library tip sessions and everything like that. And I think there's even like essay, uh, essay writing tip sessions and stuff, which are all really good. Yeah. Uh, now how do you uh, just go and familiar, familiarise yourself with it. Go and talk to the staff if you have any questions. They're all very helpful and willing to help. Um, tips. Yeah, just use it, I suppose. Uh, I would say if you're a first year student to uh, participate, that at the, for the first year student library have special um, sort of courses, not, not really courses, but uh, meetings. So when they teach new students how to access resources and how to use them uh, with them most of the benefits, so uh, I would recommend to go to this uh, courses, C contact someone in the library and uh, use this course for them. Mainly just get to know the area more than anything. Get to know what's there, the resources, where all the books and all that are. Just get to know the area more than anything. Yeah, when I was in my first year, I didn't really use it at all. And then I went with friends that were there regularly and I actually saw that it wasn't as bad. I always thought it was bad. Like, oh, you're not going to do much, you never have a lot of friends there, you're going to talk and you won't get much done. But if you actually go there and you actually do a lot of work, compared to what if I went home I'd do a lot less. So I use it a lot now.